Chris, I, with, this morning we were talking a little bit about Airbnb and sort of the impact it's having on the industry. And we're also talking about how consumers are accepting perhaps less than they would get in a, in a hotel environment. I'm wondering if you see hoteliers looking to make what might be like 10 by 10 rooms so that they can compete against Airbnb and have some sort of profit well, margin as what, a brand. Yeah, I don't know what all, all other hoteliers are going to do, but I know from my point of view what I see. And we, you know, the Airbnb is a wonderful, you know, business model, and obviously there's a lot of demand for it. I think it is fundamentally a different model than our model. Now it's evolving, so you, it's unclear exactly where it ends up. But I think it is in part, if you look at who's staying there, um, very leisurely oriented, a little bit more uh, length, a lengthier stay, more occupants generally, and clearly, to your point, a value proposition, okay? And so people are willing to, number one, deal with a higher beta experience than they do with the, do with us. Fewer amenities, they don't, you don't get the gym, you don't get, you know, the restaurant, you don't get the sundry shop to, you know, get a new razor, you know, you don't get a lot of those things. But you're willing to accept that in that instance because um, of the value proposition. So, um, um, the fact of the matter is that's just sort of a different travel need. Now, do some of our customers uh, use Airbnb? As we talked to them, yes, not a very high percentage, but some do. But what they tell us is uh, it's just a different type of travel need where, you know, that is different than when we come and stay with you. So um, to the extent that, that um, you look at it that way, in a sense, I think of us being in a very different business where we're really in the business of hospitality, not lodging, where we take amazing products, but then we wrap it in heartfelt, authentic service delivery or hospitality, and the two of those things combined are what customers get, and as a result, they do have a very high expectation, and we deliver on that expectation, uh, and it is um, uh, le uh, less about just a pure value play. In terms of products and things that we're thinking about, we're always thinking about a lot of things. I think I was quoted in Berlin last year that we're going to do a hospital brand, which wasn't really what I said, um, uh, but we are looking at other brand opportunities. We are looking at um, some form of sharing hotel, or I would say really micro hotel, to your mm -hmm. point, in an urban environment. We haven't made, made any decisions on that, and it's not a direct result of what's going on with Airbnb. It's really, as it always is, about talking to our customers and saying, what else do you want us to do? If we do, you know, all of these things from, you know... Uh, home to and Hampton all the way up to Waldorf Astoria. There are other products or other things that you want from us that would make you feel even better and, and uh, make you even more loyal to our system. And as we do that, you know, there are customers, I think a segment of our customers that do say, you know, something in that urban arena, you know, I'm not, you know maybe micro hotel would be appealing. So we're, we're doing the work to understand it. I'll probably get quoted again saying we launched it, excuse me. Uh, we haven't, but we're, we're always looking at it. But that's not, you know, it's a consequence of what our customers tell us they want, uh, much more so than what any, any competitor is doing. And how is 20, summer 2016 looking for Hilton ahead? I think it's going to be great. I think, you know, the leisure business, ironically, even though at the end of last year, at the beginning of this year, you saw uh, the, the corporate business slow down um, as a result of all of the disruption around the world, the leisure business kept clicking along and, and has been quite strong and we think we're going to have a great summer season. Super. Speaking with Chris Nassetta from Hilton Worldwide, this is Stephanie C. O'Connor for Hotel Business. Thanks, Chris.